Hi, this is Jeffrey Fisher from SW, and today I want to talk to you about how to keep a clean springboard. So picture this, you're the Scrum Master of a team, your sprint review is in one hour, you open the sprint board, and this is what you see. So at first, nothing looks alarming. However, I have created this sample board and included the three most common mistakes I have witnessed as a Scrum Master uh, that the devs can make. So please pause the video for 30 seconds and see if you can spot them all. Right, so if you found all the three mistakes, congratulations, you've got eagle eyes. If you find more than three, please let me know and I will book an appointment with my optometrist. So let's go through them. Well, the first one, which is probably the most obvious, is looking at all the PPIs, I can tell they have an estimate, except for this one here, it says zero. So we actually have a rule about this, which is the do you know how to define a PPI? And if you scroll down this, it shows all the mandatory information a PPI should have, such as a title, description, and also an estimate. So please, when you create a PBI, make sure that you always give it an estimate. So I'm going to do it now. I'll just open it, go to estimate. I'll put it as a two because it looks like an easy fix, increasing a width, and done. Right. Now, the second most common mistake is in that PBI in the middle here. So as you can see, it's in progress, which means someone picked it. However, I can't tell who picked it. Like if I open it, there is no people assigned to it. So we also have a rule about this, which is, do you know the three steps to completing a PBI? And if you scroll down on this one, you'll see that one of the first thing you should do when you choose a PBI, you need to assign yourself to it. This is very important. So please make sure that when you pick it, you assign it to yourself. Done, and now I can see my little face here. And finally, the third most common mistake I have seen is about the last one here, the done. So this one is a bit more tricky to see, but you can tell by this little emoji, which is green, that the PBI is still open. And if I click on it, I'm just gonna check, like why is this still open? It should be closed. And by scroll, oops, here we go. Scrolling down, I can see that, oh, well, there is no closing comments and no one closed it. So this is an issue. And you also have a rule about this, which is the, do you make sure Sprint reviews are tick and flick. And one of the tasks in this rule is to always make sure that you close the PBI with context. So if I go back to it now, what I'll do is I'll include a closing comment. So I've prepared some text I'm going to paste. So saying that done, the task has been done. And I'll also include a screenshot to show the work that has been done. So I fixed basically the font size over here. And this should be ready now. So I can just click on comment and I will see my comment with the screenshot. And now done, I can just close it. And here we go. Now this board looks much, much cleaner. So hopefully from now on, you will keep a clean sprint board and make your Scrum Master life way easier. So thank you everyone for watching this video. This was Jeffrey Fisher from SSW. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you on the next one.